I'm in the process of learning how to drive, and I've had a very interesting experience with it so far. I was curious about how other driving schools compared to the one I used, so I asked Newton South students to fill out a survey about their driving school experience. Here's what they said. Awesome Russian teachers who legit were the funniest people ever, and they always told fun stories. It was tough, but I learned how to drive in the long run. Terrible. The instructors are weird and awkward. There seems to be no standard for teaching. Each teacher tells you something different. There's no consistency. Pretty good. Nothing terrible happened, and I felt prepared for everything. Very interesting. For example, I drove with one instructor, Instructor A, for two days straight, total of four hours. At first it was tense, and then it was really funny. Later that week when I was driving with the fun instructor, Instructor B, I found out that Instructor A was creepy and kind of a pedophile because he told me two girls he was instructing that they were cute and tried to add them on Facebook. It was pretty bad. Driver's Ed was a waste of time and barely taught me anything. Most of the time was wasted watching pointless YouTube videos. Just goes to show how unqualified the teachers actually are. In terms of the driving instructors, there were a few diamonds in the rough, but most of them were absolutely horrible. A few of them may have even made my driving worse by forcing me to practice bad habits and telling me in incorrect information. It was a waste of time and money, and it sucks that there aren't many other options when it comes to getting your license before 18. Pretty good, but kind of sketch. Funny. Most of the instructors were really nice, and it's more fun if you make conversation with them. Pretty bad. Most of the instructors were creepy and weird and seemed like pedophiles. They also often took smoke breaks and never showed me how to parallel park before my road test except for in the extra session I paid for, but because I only learned one day, I failed because I parallel parked too far from the curb and had to wait another four weeks before I could take the road test again. It was fine. The classroom lessons were boring, but it's fine if you do it with friends. The instruction was okay, but I guess I can drive now, so it was good. A blast and a half, especially when he made me take my hands off the wheel my first time driving on Route 9. It was okay. Some teachers were fine. Two were really nice, and one screamed at me till I cried. One horror story was my last observation hour, which had a girl who kept mixing up the gas and brake and almost killed us five times. I love it. They passed everyone and didn't teach us anything that was relevant to the test. We ended up watching car crash videos, and he pointed to the screen and asked, whose fault was that? I was literally terrified of the driving instructors. I almost cried after every lesson. One time they took me onto a very busy road that goes into Boston, except it was my second time ever driving on a road. Terrifying. It's not that it was good, but it got the job done, and you're not going to find any driving school that's actually enjoyable. No one paid attention. We all played with our phones, and we all cheated on the final, and the instructor was okay with it. Inefficient and overly complicated, but also hilarious at times. I feel like it was pretty normal, like no one is going to like sitting through driver's ed wherever you go. As for the lessons, I think there could have been a better focus on parallel parking and also more of a variety where we drove because we did the same routes. It was more like they were simply preparing you for the test rather than actually driving in real life. Stupid. Didn't teach me anything. Just a stupid requirement. Amazing! I love Bob Sab! Yes. When we polled Newton South students, we asked them how likely they are to recommend the driving school they used. 23.8% of the students who used Newton Driving School said, I will never, ever, ever suggest this school to anyone lest they be subjected to the same torture I went through. 0% of all the other driving schools chose this option. 50% of Parkway Driving School students said, it got the job done, I feel totally neutral about it. And the other half said, I actually had a decent time, I'd recommend it. Brookline had a pretty even split between, it was okay, but I probably wouldn't suggest it, it got the job done, I feel totally neutral about it, and I actually had a decent time, I'd recommend it. A third of Needham students said, it was okay, but I probably wouldn't suggest it, and two-thirds said, I actually had a decent time, I'd recommend it. The lowest recommendation for CS driving school was, I actually had a decent time, I'd recommend it, and that was 70% of the students who used it. 
The other 30% said, I absolutely love this driving school, and every time I see a new person, I tell them they need to go here. Assigning all of those responses a numerical value, one being the least likely to recommend and five being the highest, we found out that Parkway Driving School's average rating was a 3.5 out of 5. Brookline Driving School's average rating was a 3.133 out of 5. Needham Driving School's average rating was a 3.334 out of 5. Newton Driving School's average rating was a 2.763 out of 5. CS Driving School's average rating was a 4.3 out of 5. Thanks for watching! Comment below what your driving school experience was like.